The CDC and the National Center for Injury Prevention are declaring a major traumatic brain injury epidemic. Melissa Estock has more from West Orange. Hard hits in sports like football can cause major injury, especially to youth athletes. Reportedly, more than 25,000 children who have gone to the emergency room following a traumatic brain injury over the last decade were caused by sports. Concussions are a form of traumatic brain injury, um, and it's very important that parents and coaches are aware that it is a form of traumatic brain injury, and it does it changes the. Um, the architecture of the brain. Reportedly, traumatic brain injuries led to about 630,000 emergency room visits each year, about 68,000 of which require hospitalization. The incidence of concussion among children is on the rise, partially because of increased awareness. Scott Chesney, president of the Ray's Hope Foundation, said he's had two concussions in his lifetime playing football when he was younger, before he was paralyzed at the age of 15 by a sudden spinal stroke. I was paralyzed at age 15, but I played quarterback for my football team. And there were two times in which I had concussions, and it, they didn't know nearly as much as they know today. Chesney believes contact sports should be started at the high school level because of the major injuries a youth player could face. They can learn about the game, they can have flag football and everything, but it has been proven that our brains and also our um, spinal cords are not developed enough at that age so any type of force, any type of trauma to that area could result in something significant. Nancy Cheravalotti, director of traumatic brain injury research at the Kessler Foundation, said new technology along with coaches and parents treating concussions correctly will help decrease the number of traumatic brain injuries. We have a brand new imaging center um, and that it's a three Tesla scanner which allows us to do the most innovative and, innovative and technologically advanced scans. Another is virtual reality. We recently just got a grant from the federal government to take a virtual reality platform and create a cognitive rehabilitation protocol from that platform and then test it on some patients to see how it's working. In West Orange, I'm Melissa Estock for WNBC News. Memory deficits could affect up to 58% of patients one month after injury. Parents who have kids in sports can look for signs of concussions like headaches, fatigue, dizziness, anxiety, and impaired cognition.